What I'm going to talk about today is product costing in SAP Espahana, which is one of the sessions that I'll be presenting at the conference. And so really this is a sneak preview of one of the things I'm going to be talking about. And the reason I've chosen this topic is because I've realized there's, there's a lot of confusion out there. SAP went out with Espahana 1511 and said the material ledger is compulsory. And a lot of people are pretty confused and pretty scared and, and don't quite understand what that means for them. What we really mean is to relieve that the material ledger as the basis for inventory valuation becomes compulsory. And it means you've got an option of using multiple currencies. A lot of the other things that those of you who've been using actual costing or group valuation for a while associate with the material ledger continue to be optional. So, you know, if, if you don't want to do actual costing, if you're not one of those industries that typically does actual costing or not in one of those geographies, you know, you, this is a choice you make. The same with the idea of group valuation. It's a cho choice that you make. Now, 1511 was all about going to print the principle of one, so having one way of doing inventory valuation, which was based on the material ledger. One of the big things we did in 1610, which seems to be one of those well-kept secrets out there, is we actually completely re-architected actual costing. I mean, I've been around actual costing and the material ledger from the beginning, and I probably get asked once every couple of months for nearly 20 years now, you know, how can we handle performance? How do you handle these big volumes? The really good thing about us re-architecting the solution for HANA is that it's become massively faster. We've completely redesigned it. 